Hello. This video is what I think about fractals. I was motivated to make this video because I saw a guy called Dan Winter on YouTube. Uh, I found it because some guy made a comment on one of my videos and said check out some of my videos and I saw that. And he's talking about fractals. Um, so just type in Dan Winter fractals. I'll see if I can put the link when I upload this to this one presentation he does. He has lots of different presentations. The best one is when he, he's just there by himself, like with a piece of paper or something and showing stuff. I didn't get all the way through that though because my computer crashed and then I couldn't find it again. But anyways, um, but before I talk about what this guy's talking about fractals is I want to talk about my own little idea about fractals first. Um, I think fractals is kind of like going to be the new uh, thing of interest for people coming up here because it relates our world that we live in, the three-dimensional world, with the spiritual world. Um, and it is, it does relate, it has to relate, you know. Um, I mean, like li solids and liquids and gases and plasmas, they don't really relate to each other most of the time, but they still do. So, kind of like that. So anyways, my uh, personal ideas about fractals is I think it's important to uh, definitely uh, keep in mind that um, as is above, so is below. That's one of the uh, biblical psalms or something Jesus said. It's in the Bible somewhere. But uh, I think it's, I, I like to use that general idea to uh, imagine what it's like on the other side and in the eternal um, for example and to, to give arguments for things that I believe based on that one principle for example um, reincarnation let's see uh, flowers live and die and then they get and then they're reborn the next season so same thing in the spiritual world uh, you buy a car, you drive it, it dies, you get another car that's got the same driver Kind of like that. Um, I just used the as is above, so is below, or as is below, must be above. <laughs> you know, following patterns. Um, for example, uh, you can give all these examples of countries who have dictators, and then the dictators go crazy and kill everybody. So then you use that as a reason not to have dictators now. Um, kind of like that. And... Um, but there's lots of examples, and which I can't bring off the top of my head right now, so I'm, I'm going to go into what this guy Dan Winter talks about fractals, because it's really interesting. Uh, at least what I remember. It's kind of, it's very interesting, Mom, um, and it's the kind of thing that you'd have to watch over and over again in order to uh, fully comprehend it, or you'll comprehend it more and more each time you see it. But uh, he's talking about... Uh, you know, the concept of how energy flows is <laughs> kind of a new concept, like even 20, 30 years ago, you know, people didn't even kind of, like they look in this cosmos and they would just see a planet here and a black hole there and they would just feel that, automatically assume that there's no relation to any of those with each other. Might as well, you know, not even exist. The only relation would be the gravity, but we couldn't even understand gravity. And um, this guy, Dan Winter, is explaining gravity, and I can't explain it. I haven't seen his videos enough times, and I don't understand enough, but um, it seems to make sense to me. Um, so, assuming that energy passes through, and it makes sense that energy would pass from one planet to the next, or one star to the next, um, because with my as is below so is above uh, example um, you have radio towers you put a bunch of radio towers in line from one side of the country to the next and they'll g -g 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 send, the, send the signal across so that's uh, that basically can scientifically explain astrology right there all the planets align energy can get from the source energy from the star across the planet, boom, to the next star, the next planet, and that's how it works. Science. 
and it can be reproduced. You just have to wait for the right time for the plants to be in alignment. Um, and there are some definitely interesting um, experiments you can do. For example, if uh, if you're in alignment with uh, uh, um, well, for Mars, for example, which is created made out of iron, um, your iron will will uh, solidify. And if you are in alignment with uh, uh, Venus, your copper, if it will, if it, if it's just like having some kind of copper mush, as soon as the alignment happens in their petri dish, it will solidify. Pretty interesting. I can't remember the guy who said that, and I've never done the experiment myself. But um, so, anyways, um. So, if, if, if energy passes around, swirls around in a galaxy, it does not just haphazardly swirl around. It has to move and go in and out in a particular way. The reason that it does that is, as is below, so is above. <laughs> uh, computers. And uh, we, we put our little chips, microchips, all the little um, layers and whatever those things are made of, all in a perfect line, all all in all in order. Uh, crystals can hold in energy information because all of their molecules are packed together in a perfect, perfectly symmetrical way, so that the energy can pass through. If you were to crush a um, a crystal up, or crush something up in a way other than how crystals are crushed up where all of the molecules are just haphazardly jumbled together no energy can pass through it'll it'll hit the first one and just dissipate and uh, this guy Dan Winter is talking about aluminum like that's how aluminum is made aluminum is and steel is, um, is our metals that we created where we just basically compress like with aluminum bauxite with uh, some other some other metal or something and so if you look at it or the microscope you'll see you know a piece of bauxite here and then like the aluminum whatever else here and then here and it's, it's all there's no rhyme or reason there's no pattern to the actual structure of the metal um, which means that when energy comes through from the cosmos or from other people or just all the energy that's everywhere and it hits that aluminum it just spins out of control dissipates and uh, even kills energy so uh, and that's why you can't drink water out of uh, aluminum cups. That's why you don't want to eat out of, you don't want to wrap your food in aluminum foil. And, um, and uh, yeah, so <clears throat> that's like why they were saying that, you know, spires, for example, and uh, obelisks are good because actually they're like antennas. And even though they're not made out of the, whatever our antennas are made out of, they can just be made out of, say, granite they still do the same they're still energy receptor because granite is is crystal anyway um so it sucks it you can swirl around into it and, and have this you know you can't see it with your eye but it will have this like flow of energy just swirling around it that it sucks and energy is charge and you know charge is what fuels our electronics and stuff so I wouldn't fuel us and give us energy and there are scientific experiments you can do um, in the Yucatan and those in those pyramids and other pyramids if you put like a germinating seed on top of one of those pyramids it will germinate a lot faster in fact all of the Mayans since the beginning of time have always brought their seeds to the tops of these pyramids to germinate then they would pick them up and they would plant them and uh, I actually did a little experiment myself. I made a, um, I made a um, copper pyramid with a little twirling copper thing that comes down off the bottom, and then a, uh, and a crystal coming off off the bottom of it, and I slept in it. And uh, I could never sleep actually in it. It was very powerful, and I had to. I just kind of put it in the basement because it was just too much for me. But. Uh, I'd like to do some like food preservation experiments and that and stuff. I think I did, and it was pretty impressive. Anyway, I don't have it with me here. But uh, so it's a concept that energy comes for energy to move, you know, in a way that's co 